The Golden State Warriors have turned Andrew Wiggins into a hyper-efficient two-way player. So, I said players, but either way. So, before we start today's video, I want to hear down below, what do you think of Andrew Wiggins? If you're a Golden State Warriors fan, if you're a Timberwolves fan, if you're a Jazz fan, if you're an NBA fan, I just want to hear, is Andrew Wiggins looking good? So, let's get into it. Now, I know he's averaging about 18 points, but the Golden State Warriors have turned him into a hyper-efficient two-way player in their system. Not only is he shooting close to 40% from three, he's usually playing lockdown defense on the opposing team's best player. Close to averaging two blocks per game. I read a stat, a tweet actually, from Anthony Slater saying that Andrew Wiggins is in sixth place for total blocks with five centers in front of him. Meaning he has the most blocks for any player that isn't a center. That's a ridiculous stat. And from the eye test... Gone are the long end of the shot clock mid-range jumpers, super inefficient shots I used to take. Now, his three-point shot looks real, legit, and he is actively engaged on defense. His intensity is through the roof, and I know Golden State isn't going to trade him at all. I don't think. That's my belief, and especially thinking about that Klay Thompson coming back and being put next to Andrew Wiggins, Steph Curry, Eric Pascal, or Draymond Green, and James Wiseman blows my mind that that's going to be next year blows my mind even if clay doesn't have the same athleticism he once had even though he wasn't ever a huge like elite athlete he you know he's probably gonna be has lost a step but i really like because people could be like they're either you're gonna trade uber or wiggins and right now it seems like they're gonna probably trade uber because wiggins is playing great and look I think the one of the best thing is is whenever someone's attempting a layup against the Warriors, it feels like Andrew Wiggins is right behind them, chasing them down for a block more often than not. Like I said, his motor defensively has been incredible, and he's been so happy. Plus, the fact that Steph Curry literally has a gravitational pull around him, where he everybody around him plays better offensively due to the fact that the defense is always centered around focusing on Steph Curry and not letting him get all those three shots which opens up and really unlocks the potential for Andrew Wiggins to have a really efficient offensive game. And I think the fact that this guy can go from being a guy who never really blocked shots to being an actual, like, one of the best blockers, like, against the Timberwolves, against the Jazz, he both had three blocks. Like, the Timberwolves showed how good he defense against the Timberwolves. He showed how good defensively he could be. Three steals, three blocks insane then he had a game against the pacers and raptors where he had five and four blocks uh he is hands down just so good defensively he's right now actually shooting 40 percent on the year i said earlier he's shooting close to 40 percent. he's now shooting 40 percent and 46 percent. like man they, they've just done such a great job making him into a guy who is one of the better two-way players in the league I think if he does this for a full season, if he can average 18 points or close to 20 points, shoot 46% from the floor, 40% from three, get about five rebounds, maybe get the assist up to four, have a steal and a block and a half a game, he's going to be an all-star next year. He could even make third team. He has to make second team all NBA, uh, second team all defensive NBA in a year or two. I could see him being a third team, but this is me like saying like what is the most highest, but I think he could be a, this year second team all defensive. NBA defensive team without a doubt little doubt like he has been playing that good and it really has been that fun so besides that I just want to hear your opinions down below if we just want to talk about the team as a whole I think the interesting part is Steph Curry's playing great he's hitting his shots Andrew Wiggins being their second guy who is who kind of like can do everything at times and I know they trust Kevon Looney I love James Wiseman. They had James Wiseman actually come off the bench and Kevon Looney start the game, played more minutes just because I think they trust Kevon Looney more. Brad, Brad Wanamaker is giving them valuable minutes off the bench as the backup point guard like he did for the Boston Celtics, which is a continuation of last year. Then you have Damian Lee, who's been a good shooter. Michael Mulder is somebody they want to see if he could be a key part of their rotation as he's a really good three-point shooter kent Bazemore is a really good role player he's just a two-way player that he's been playing really good i just really like this bench i wish we got to see more of nico manian i want to hear from fans of the golden state warriors what you think of nico manian his only good game we've seen is against the jazz we had 10 point 10 minutes eight eight points shot three from five from the floor two for three from three and had four assists and a steal 
And against the Wolves, he had a steal. He's shown some good defensive minutes. So, and he's been a really good passer. So, I, I wish we get to see more of him just because I, I think he's a fun guy to watch. But that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I didn't have much to talk about, but that the Golden State Warriors look good. So, I hope you guys do have a good one. Till next time, guys. Put peace out. Oh.